Hi everyone and welcome to this Friday's tutorial and I'm just back from Austria and I've made some very quick sketches there with uh, some charcoal and I also did some pen drawings Here you can see when I was way up in the Alps there was a cow also done in charcoal I didn't have much time and uh, this is a sketch uh, drawn from the hotel that I stayed in and you can see uh, the electricity poles and this is a pen drawing I used the Stettler this is the hotel itself and when you walked to the left into the valley you could see all these nice cabins I love them and there are thousands of them and they have a traditional building so I'm going to draw from memory from this sketch and all kinds of pictures and a report of my uh, uh, holiday is on my patreon page of course and for this drawing I'm using a gray study uh, paper just a cheap one and I'm using my sketch to make this drawing I will also be using a little bit of pen pastel, pastel for the sky itself because that's a very quick medium if you don't have pen pastels then you can simply use the pen pastel knife and a little bit of powder made from your charcoal and your uh, pastel white and then blend this in with the pastel knife now what I'm doing first is I draw in that cabin as a quick sketch with that charcoal pencil now what struck me is that um, the cabins that they built are uh, many many of them and there are all kinds of pieces of uh, meadows and every piece has a cabin on it and they use these cabins uh, in the parts that are a little bit lower in the Austria uh, mountainary areas to put in the hay so they are uh, kind of haystacks very traditional and I love them and most of them are built from uh, tree trunks and uh, they are piled together so they uh, make some uh, cutouts and then they can pile them up and in this way they are building these cabins and this particular cabin also had some planks on the side and also had tiles on the roof and some use board the more uh, younger ones but the traditional ones are really built up from tree trunks and actually tiles and here you can see the supporter um, little planks that kept up the roof and on the side there are these planks I don't know why they did that on this cabin maybe to keep the draft out or the the rain out or something I don't know but I thought it was a lovely lovely cabin to uh, get some attention to it so here you can see me drawing that cabin and I thought charcoal was a very nice medium to use because um, well it's made out of boot out of um, uh, I think it's a uh, fine trees and uh, this gives an extra dimension to the fact that Austria is a lot of uh, forests and woods and pine trees so that's why I've chosen this medium for this drawing now in this drawing you will see eventually that the light is coming from the right top and I was walking from the hotel down below and I was walking past all these cabins and I took some pictures 
you can find them too on my Patreon page. And uh, here you can see me drawing in those tiles on the roof. And what I actually do is just make some, um, well, arched little stripes to get uh, an idea of tiles. And then I just go sideways. So that's all. Now, what I also did in Austria is uh, trying to find out a horizon and perspective, but I cannot uh, discover any horizons at all because uh, there are mountains all around you so no horizon there so I simply draw what I saw and in this case I'm drawing from memory but I've really really looked hard and here on the right side there are uh, a lot of pine trees and I simply go uh, crisscross with the charcoal to get a dark area there so crisscrossing is a great way to uh, get an image of pine tree that are in the back and here you can see grass and then I continue now here is a uh, hill that is sloping to the valley below there was the place Nauders but the hotel was uh, higher up and isolated just 50 meters from the Italian border now what's also important because the light is coming from the right top is the shadow that is casted onto the meadow so I draw that in too and to get the perspective, I'm just using atmospheric perspective to get that going. Now at this stage, it's time to pay attention to the sky itself. I need to draw that in first before I put in the other pine trees, which are close to the cabin. What you can see here is that I'm using a little bit of white and mid-grey. That's all I will be using because I want this to be kind of a uh, black and white drawing. But because the paper is brownish grey, this will work together with the charcoal and the pen pastel. So you still get a little bit of color going because the color of the paper is sh shining through the material that I'm using. On this morning walk uh, there was not a completely blue sky, there were some um, clouds going on and I just love that because uh, a pale blue sky is not very interesting for me to draw so those clouds were well good for me and I'm simply just put in a little bit of those clouds and you can see how fast that works I also blur out uh, the pine tree on the back on the right here also using that pen pastel knife okay here you can see those pine trees that I was talking about and that is why I put in the sky first because now I can start drawing in the pine trees that are near to the cabin and I can just draw over the sky part otherwise I would have to draw uh, uh, around those trees and that wouldn't be nice so uh, please first put in the part that is sky now here on the YouTube I did a, uh, a special tutorial about drawing pine tree and uh, what I've thought, taught myself I can now apply by drawing in the pine trees as I've uh, teached myself and it's a quick way and a very nice way to uh, get some really convincing pine trees I must say 
it's very easily done very quickly you just uh, draw up a line and then uh, put in all the branches and you can see me here going over the pampas tail and it is a little bit harder to get the charcoal in but I don't care because uh, here is where the light is peeping through so it kind of is quite good for me that you cannot put in too much charcoal over the pampas tail okay now uh, you can see a little well a lot of contrast actually also the dark tree in front of the trees in the back uh, I've put them in a darker and to get even more contrast I'm now using my white pen pastel pencil uh, pen pastel pencil and I put in uh, the white on the tiles on the roof because of the light that is coming from the right top then putting in a little bit of shadow underneath those tiles and then blend them together I also apply the white to the planks on the side of that cabin and I also use uh, my pastel pencil to blend together the charcoal on the tree trunks now in that way the paper will shine less through my drawing and then uh, the cabin gets more solid so uh, that's why I'm doing this and um, also the charcoal and the white pastel pencil blend together very very nicely so they're kind of like brothers the white pastel and the black charcoal I also apply it in the shadow that is casted onto the field and those cabins are just awesome uh, the cows actually uh, are way up in the Alps in the summer and uh, down below the grass grows really fast it's uh, a little bit warmer when you're not way up high in the Alps and uh, there here you can see me drawing in the grass that is uh, growing there and they use that to uh, make hay for the winter times when the cows come back to the valleys it's a big party then and then they will have enough of hay to provide for the winter time for the grass part I'm simply using little stripes of white and black so to get some um, structure going grass structure and I do this very quickly just going crisscross again and uh, this is uh, the part that is uh, shine sunny and uh, near to us while way in the back you can see just some high mountains and here I'm applying a little bit of gray in between uh, the stripes that I've made for the uh, pine trees way in the back and these are the me meadows that are uh, slowly sloping down towards uh, the place Nauders I also get a little bit of dark and light into the part of the trees on the way back and what I also do is I use my white pastel pencil to uh, get some light into the pine tree there where the Sun hits the branches so that's an awesome effect too you can see that that applies to getting uh, that atmospheric uh, perspective and here is uh, the hill which is grown with pine trees too that is farther away from us and this is all in the way back 
Now then, it's time to get some more detail into the cabin itself. So I'm darkening up some parts that are in the shadow. And also underneath the roof, a little bit of extra shadow. I want that cabin to pop out. And then I sharpen my uh, charcoal pencil. And then I put in those very little detail. So that are the shadows on the tree trunk that is uh, on the grass itself. And I also put in a little bit of structure onto the planks. And what I also do is I make rounded um, stripes for the pine tree, tree trunks to get that round feel. And this adds up uh, for um, getting attention to that cabin and adding some more detail. These are planks in that door opening and they, uh, they shut them down once they are full with hay, I think. And here I want some more darkness. Those are those trees on the high up hill. And of course, a little bit of flowers. Just, just for the fun of it. <laughs> okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you will give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, of course. And also, maybe you can check out my Patreon page and support me there and see uh, prints tips, extras, if you want. I will see you again next Friday. Thank you for watching. Take care.